Is your heat pump not coming on? There are a few things you can check before calling for service. First, take a look at the display on your heat pump. If there's power to the unit, the display should be illuminated at all times, even when the heater is turned off. If your display is blank, you can check the breakers or fuses to be sure that you're getting power. However, don't ever assume that there's no power to the unit. The display or transformer may have failed, or there could be another issue preventing the display from lighting up. Please don't remove any access panels to get inside the unit unless you're a properly qualified technician. There should be some type of disconnect right next to, or at least within sight, of your heat pump. A standard circuit breaker is the most common disconnect. It's not always easy to tell if a breaker has tripped. Move the breaker firmly to the off position and then back to on. Heat pumps always have a two-pole or double breaker, so make sure that both sides snap firmly to on. If the breaker won't reset, have it checked by a qualified electrician. If you have a fuse disconnect, remove and inspect the fuses. You'll need a test meter to check continuity to know if the fuses are okay. If you don't have the ability to test your fuses, many hardware stores can test them for you. If you buy new fuses, make sure to buy slow blow or time delay fuses suitable for air conditioners. They're more expensive than a fast blow or one-time fuse, but you need to use this type of fuse to prevent nuisance failures. If you've checked the breakers or the fuses and the display still does not show, don't give up yet. There may be a second breaker protecting your heater circuit. It could be far away at a sub-panel or on your main panel in the house or garage. If you are able to get the unit to come on by resetting the breaker or replacing a fuse, keep a close eye on it. There might be an underlying issue that needs attention. If the breaker trips or you blow a fuse again, call for service. If you continue to reset a breaker that is tripping regularly, you could cause damage that leads to a more expensive repair. Still not able to keep your heater operational? Contact your pool service company or give us a call at 800-878-0998 to schedule a service visit or visit us at aquacal.com.